So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a table to your WatchKit app. The first thing we need to do, of course, is add the table from the uh, objects library to our app interface. Just drag that in. So once we've added that, we of course have the table and then a table row controller and a group within that. Over here, we can set the number of different types of rows we want, um, a background for the table and some other values that you've probably seen before. But just for the moment, I'm going to show you how to create a custom table row and how to add those to the screen and of course add values to them. So down here in our group, I'm going to drag in a label into our table row. If you've used tables in iOS before, you'll know you have to create a row controller, a row table, a table row controller. So what you could, you have to do a very similar thing. So up here in the interface controller extension, sorry, the WatchKit extension, go new, file, we create a Kakoa touch class. We just want an NS object class. I'm going to call it um, first row uh, controller. and go next. Just save that where it wants us to. Up here, you just need to change this to WatchKit. Of course, that's what we're using. We're not using UIKit, which is for iOS apps. So there's our, of course, our class. Now, back in our interface, we have to link that class to our row. So we select our row. We can go up here, we can go uh, first row controller. When we're creating our row, we also want to set an identifier. So we're just going to call this first row as our identifier for this row. Now when we open up the intelligent editor and we select the row, we have the op we have the option to of course get that first row controller. So of course we just want to drag in an outlet for that label. So let's go label. So now we've created our controller file for our row, we actually have to add rows into the table. Of course we do that in the interface controller file by first creating an outlet for our table in this controller file. So let's call this table. So we're going to create an array to contain our objects that we're going to add into this um, table. So let's go So there's our array I just created. Now we actually have to put the contents of that array into that label of that table. So we're going to create a function called load table data. So in this function we're actually going to do the logic to load that data into the table. And then we're going to run that function from the will activate um, method. So when this screen comes up, it will run that function, of course, loading out that table. The first thing we need to do is set the number of rows in the table. So we go table dot set number of rows. Of course, we want an int there. So we're going to get our array, array of objects dot count. So of course, counting the number of objects. And we want to put in the name of our table, uh, the name of our row identifier, which of course is first row. Let's put that in there. Next, we need to run a for loop for each row in the array. So we go for index and content in um, en um, enumerate. Enumerate and our array of objects. Open our brackets. So first we want to create a variable for that row. So let row equal um, table dot dot row troller at index. Of course the index of our array that we're currently going through as first row controller. 
And now within this um, variable, we're going to go within this constant. We want to go row dot label, which is of course our label dot set text. And we're going to make it uh, content. So now we just need to add that uh, table will load data to the will activate function down here and run our app. So when we go to our WatchKit app, we can see our rows with those things from the array.